Okay, now we're ready to decide on how we're going to contour the actual chains that we created in the last lesson. This is a similar dialog box to the one that we had for drilling, except now we're doing contour. Um, notice if we go up here to toolpath type, you can switch to like a pocket or something from here, but since we selected contour initially, that's what's highlighted. So the next thing that we're going to do is select the tool. The tool that we spoke of before is the quarter inch um, flat end mill. And so the way we get that, here notice it's default selecting just the last tool that we used. So we need to go to select library tool. Notice we're in the TRC tooling and I'm going to choose the quarter inch flat end mill. The three flute flat end mill is the standard one that we use and it's the one we have most of. And so we're going to choose that. Notice it's tool number four. And so I'm just going to hit the check mark OK and we're done with that. Notice we have tool number four. And again, we can skip the holder. Now we're going to go to cut parameters. And it's going to take a while to go through all of these things and cut parameters. First thing is depth cuts. Notice it has a little um, crossed out symbol here, meaning that it's not taking this into account. Depth of cuts really talks about how, let's say you wanted to cut something that's an inch deep. Well, you wouldn't want to typically do that in a single pass. Um, you'd want to take multiple passes and chip out a little bit each time. And so a depth of cuts, if you selected that, you could then select what's the maximum depth you want to ever cut. And so this is set at a half of an inch. Since we're only going through an eighth of an inch, we can actually cut that in a single pass. And therefore, I'm not even going to use depth of cuts. Um, the rule of thumb that I typically use for simple contours is never cut deeper than half the diameter of your bit or equal to the radius of your bit. So if you're using a quarter inch bit, you shouldn't really go much deeper than an eighth of an inch. Now, you may see some high speed milling where you cut much, much deeper, um, but that's a specific type of milling that we're not covering in this basic lessons here. And so for the general rule of thumb for a, a, a basic contour, is don't cut any deeper than the radius of your bit. <clears throat> and so that's why eighth inch stock works very well with a quarter inch material because you can cut it in a single pass. The next thing that we're going to look at is the lead in and lead out. What a lead in and lead out is, is before you approach where you want to cut the material, maybe you don't want to approach right at the edge. You want to kind of lead in a little bit and then lead out. Um, and we're going to do this when we do the bearing holes. The reason why we're not going to do it with this is there's so little room because this, these two little access holes in these slots have so little room for a lead in and lead out. Um, it would be very difficult to have a lead in that with any reasonable length. And so we're not even going to use that here. And also I'm not really worried about it because even if we do come down right at the edge and it doesn't make a, a perfectly clean slot, I'm not too worried about that because um, the tolerance and the precision doesn't have to be very nice for that, the tension slot or the access hole. A breakthrough is something maybe we want to cut a little bit deeper than the thickness of our material. And I typically do maybe 50,000 or 500. Typically, when I say 0.05 inches, I say it in terms of thousands, just because of that's what we typically measure in when in machining is in up to the thousandth of an inch. Okay, multiple passes. Um, we'll talk about this later when we do the um, bearing holes, and we'll talk about tabs later. The final thing that we're going to look at is the linking parameters. Again, if you remember, we're going to go everything absolute. We're going to go in a depth of negative 0.125, or an eighth of an inch. Top of stock is defaulted at zero. The feed plane is defaulted at two, um, 200 thousandths, or 0.2 inches. Okay? And the next thing we'll talk about is 